I'm Alex Draussman. We're at the review, and today we're going to interview Marielle Kraft. Who's around when the days feel long? Who's around when you can't be strong? Who's around when you lose in your mind? It's like hard to say a dream because the second you say it out loud, like you're held to it, you know? So I think the dream is to just continue where I'm going right now. I really love the path that I'm on. The exposure is building and people are still incredibly positive and supportive. And I'm getting opportunities I never thought I would get. So I think if I could just continue on this path and just see where it takes me, I'm completely open-minded as to what that leads to. Um, but hopefully some pretty incredible things are to come. I think in high school, when I started learning how to play guitar, it gave me an excuse to sing, not just, you know, randomly in the car with my mom when she got tired of it. Yeah. It was more of like, I'm creating music. Yeah. Um, so I think that definitely was a huge proponent in making me a musician instead of just a singer. I'm now like an artist. So. Cool. So are you a shower singer? I am absolutely a shower singer. Oh my gosh. Are you are you a shower singer? Yeah. Everyone is a shower <laughs> singer. Everybody is a shower singer. Um, so you're playing at U-Dance this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Very excited. Very excited for U-Dance. I played last year, um, and I'm so excited to be back. I am playing at 3.30, so I'm really excited to have a mm. pretty prime spot in the middle. So I know you had an EP like about, what, a year ago? Yeah, so I released my first EP um, the summer after my freshman year, so the summer of 2014. It's called Today, Tomorrow, Someday. Um, it had five original songs on it, and I remember you covered um, that story, yeah. which was really cool. Um, so that's about a, probably like a year and a half old now. Um, but I've got a lot of new material, hopefully I'm going to be maybe working with, maybe not. I'm thinking about it, though. Another EP. Something. It might not be like the shape, of, like the exact model of an EP. It might be um, a more casual release, like on YouTube or somewhere else. But I want to definitely get some new songs out there. Cool. So you have any crazy fans? Do I have any fans? No. Um, I I don't know if I can classify anyone as like fans. There's a couple people on YouTube who like really want me to come to Brazil. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a trip at some point. Um, but this morning actually, so I work at the Perkins Info Desk, and this morning somebody came up to the desk. This is a really cool moment. She came up and she's like, you look so familiar. And I'm like, what do you mean? And um, she's like, wait, I know you, like your face is an album cover in my iTunes. That's so cool. And I'm like, me? Like, I don't even know you. Like, what? And she's like, yeah, like, I listen to you all the time. Like, you know, somebody mentioned you and I downloaded your music and now, like, I saw you and, like, oh, like, that's who you are. You're on my iTunes. And I'm like, this is, like, the coolest moment ever. That's so um, neat. So that was definitely, uh, she's not a crazy fan. Um, she's <laughs> a really cool one. I think um, my family has been a huge proponent in getting me to this point because they have been incredibly supportive in everything that I do. Um, I try to balance, you know, being involved on campus and doing other things like school, you know, I'm on the club lacrosse team, um, with still staying very involved in music and I think just the support system here at UD and also my family back home in Rhode Island has completely just given me the confidence and the courage to pursue different things um, such as, you know, you dance and you dress and opening for Betty Who, like what is my life? Um, just amazing things that people have just been so supportive of, so that's probably the biggest part of what has gotten me to this point. So, yeah. Okay. This song is called What Have I Done? And it's kind of about that moment of panic where you have someone that you didn't think you ever deserved or you could ever earn and you're like, what the heck did I do? What could I have possibly done to get you? Um, because it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. So this is called What Have I Done? And uh, I hope you like it.
Minecraft. This is the review, and I'll see you at U Dance.